All right, just to let you guys in on a little bit of a secret. On the web, there are pages that aren't written in English. There is actually content out there in every language that you can imagine. So I have a sample page here that I've built where I've actually got content in different languages. I've got some Swedish, I've got some Arabic, German, Portuguese, Russian, and French. Now, not every language renders the same way. The default in the browser, because my settings are set to English, is that all text is written out from left to right, or it assumes the text is written from left to right, and it's left aligned. That's just the globalization, the localization settings on my computer say to do that. So how do we override this? How do we deal with the fact that there are other languages out there? Okay. Step one is to understand that there is a lang attribute. When I create a web page, my default template adds this in here. Inside the HTML tag, lang is English. Okay, simple enough. I can add that to any element on the page though. So I can add it into my sections down here where I've written out all these other things. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't like pickled herring. This is my Swedish phrase, so SV. These are the international ISO language codes. SV is Swedish, AR, Arabic, DE for German, PT is Portuguese, RU, Russian, Yachotelby Piva, you know, I want a beer, uh, French. So we've got all of these language codes that we put inside here. Now that by itself doesn't do anything. And we can see when we jump over to the page, there's nothing's changed just because we had those. What we need to do is we need to tell the page, hey, you know, when you see a language code that is, for example, Arabic, I don't want you to left align. I don't want you to um, override the way that the language should be presented. So we have our attribute selectors any attribute at all. You can search within your HTML using your CSS to say, all right, anywhere you find a lang attribute, this is what I want you to do. So we have a Unicode Biddy. This is a property that stands for Unicode Bidirectional. We're going to set it to Biddy Override. That just means I'm going to explicitly tell you Anytime you see a lang attribute, I'm going to explicitly tell you which direction I want the text to flow, whether the text is flowing from left to right or right to left. So I'm setting my default as left to right because I've done the override. So I'm going to explicitly say, yes, make it left to right for the entire site. Then I'm going to say, you know what? I'm probably going to have some Arabic on this page. If I do, what I want to do is I'm going to change the direction to be right to left. Now, I haven't done anything with text align or anything with that. All I've done is said, this is text that's supposed to be read from right to left. If I jump back into the browser and I refresh my page, there we go. Now the Arabic is being read from right to left and the alignment is properly being applied here. So we have la tukbir al American. Don't tell the Americans. This is now properly aligned just because I said this is text that is supposed to be read from right to left. Okay, and that's it. That's really the basics of getting to know how to work with different languages. Now there's a bunch of different words that you'll come across. I've uh, taken from the W3.org website um, three terms. There's internationalization, localization, and globalization. Three important terms. Internationalization is kind of the high-level approach to building something that you know it's going to be used in multiple locales with multiple languages, and you need to make adjustments for that. Localization is more specific in that you're saying, I'm dealing with numbers, I'm dealing with dates, there's times, there's currencies, there's languages, there's different keyboards, um, things like the unidirectional override, so either the Unicode bidirectional override, so that I'm saying that this text is supposed to be right to left as opposed to uh, left to right. 
all these things are things that you have to take into consideration with localization. And then globalization tends to be the process where you're combining these things. In general, if I'm talking about globalization, I'm talking about all the different parts of internationalization and localization. And you may see these acronyms, I18N, L10N, and G11N. It has to do with the length of the word. So globalization is G, 11 characters, and the letter N. Localization is L, 10 letters, the letter N. Internationalization, I, 18 letters, and then an N. So those, that's what those acronyms stand for. And I hope that helps. Good luck in your future localization of your websites.